Hi guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to be opening up a Thread Up 5 pounds DIY jewelry box. And if you're not familiar with what a Thread Up DIY jewelry box is, it's a box of repurposed rescued jewelry. And it can be broken, it, it could be craft, it could be fabulous, wonderful jewelry. So we're hoping for wonderful jewelry in this box, but that's not always the case. So let's dive right in and see what's inside. So, but before I open it, I just wanted to share with you some jewelry that I purchased from a fellow YouTuber. And I mentioned her before in my previous video or one of my other videos. And her name is Jana, and her channel is called Shineful Finds and Designs. And I purchased this beautiful Monet necklace from her. So you can see that. Gorgeous gold tone. Beautiful necklace. Very, very pretty. So I like that a lot. And also this beautiful, I think this is glass beaded necklace and it's this gorgeous cranberry color cranberry red color well actually I'm looking at it, it looks more like a um, pomegranate color it's very beautiful and these are definitely glass beads and they just are beautiful I've not seen one like this before so I got that from Shineful Finds and Designs and I also purchased two other items. This beautiful necklace. And it's just a, a plastic uh, beaded necklace with one of these hidden clasps. But it's just very pretty. I've never seen one with these gorgeous gold tone findings. And I love the cobalt blue color on this. And I'm just definitely adding more color to my jewelry. So that's been fun. And last but not least, I got this gorgeous, beautiful piece from Jana. And you should definitely check out her channel because she offers great deals. And she has a beautiful Etsy shop that you should check out. This beautiful necklace here. And this is a crown trefari. Here's the tag. It's a crown trefari. So you can see that. And it's just this really gorgeous gold tone collar length necklace and it's just stunning it's just a stunner it's beautiful rhinestones on this guy this sort of baby blue stones I just love that I've never I've not seen a trafari like this before so that was really nice to get. Very beautiful. Okay, so these will be added to my personal collection for sure. You should definitely check out her channel because she's a lot of fun. And I'll leave Jenna's link down below. Okay, so now on to the Thread Up by Pound Jury Box. Okay, let's open it up and see what we have. So I hope everyone is doing well. Hopefully we are at the end of February almost. It's kind of scary how time flies so quickly. means that the spring is coming in the northeast so that's definitely a great thing I'm looking forward to spring for sure and so these boxes cost $44 I purchased this box in February of 2022 okay so let's see what's in here here is the packaging gold digging since 2009 
of jewelry. And this is first impressions. Hopefully we find some goodies in here. Okay. I like that it's in a bag, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's see what's in here. So I'm going to move back to the side. Turn on the Presidium gem tester. Let's see. Okay. And start pulling things out of the box. Oops. Okay. So first thing out of the box is this. What is this, guys? This is... I bought a new light, guys. I don't know if this is helping or making things worse. Let me know if this is a little bit better, this light. So we have this cuff bracelet. It is gold tone. Um, I don't see, there is a mark on here. And it says, Volupte. I don't know if you could see that right in there. There is a mark. And it says Volupte. So that's interesting. I've never heard of that brand before, but it is a gold tone cuff. It looks to be in good condition, but there is some verdigris happening inside there and here as well, right here. But um, it probably could be an easy clean. It's very pretty. I like that a lot. It's not magnetic. Uh, let's get a measurement on this guy. This measures in at, it's kind of small. Oh, it's a teeny one at five and a half inches. But I think it's stretch. It's a stretchy. It's really pretty. Kind of fits my wrist. Like that a lot. Okay, next we have this cup. It is acrylic. And it is this pretty orangey, ambery color. Very nice. This measures in a seven and a quarter inches. Very nice. If anybody wants this, this will be, needs to be cleaned up though, two dollars. Pretty color. We have a watch here, and this watch is a Roomba, a Ramba. And it's gold tone, has a gold tone wristband here. There is some peeling right there. It is Roomba, made in China. It's the back of it. Genuine leather. It's cute. And let's see. Should we take a measurement on this if anybody's interested? I like the large face on the watch. This can fit up to a seven inch to a nine inch wrist. Okay, we have that. Don't know if it works. We have a lava bead bracelet with various beads. It's not been opened. Let's open this up. And it's a lava bead. The stretch is good here. These feel cold to the touch. I wonder if these are beads. They look like they are. Um, they're gemstones. Um, this looks like it could be glass. Let's see. Let's bring this in here. A presidium. And test. I wonder if this is. I think this is tiger's eye for sure. But I think everything else may just be glass. Lava rock bracelet. 
I think if you use essential oils, you can put some essential oils on this and it'll retain the smell. It could be stress relieving while you wear it. So if anybody wants that, that'll be $3. Necklace is pretty. It's very um, geometric with the triangles and the half circles. This is the top of it. It has a tag and it says Louisa. I've not heard of that brand either. This is sort of a tubular Omega-ish chain. Slinky. And then it has this it's acrylic. And this is the back of it. It is gold tone and silver tone. Um, there is some scratches on the plating here. I think you could probably just polish it up. And this is actually sort of like a mirror. That's kind of cool. Um, this measures in at let's see, 14 inches with a 3 inch extender. We have that. Louisa. Okay, we have a bunch of bangles here. We have one that says Here's the thing. Oops. <laughs> oh no. And then it says, you can use your imagination. F you everyone. Okay. I guess that's kind of funny if you're into that humor. But um, it's this brass tone um, cuff bracelet. And this measures in at six and three quarters. And I guess it could be for that person who always is very critical of themselves and always worries about what everybody thinks. That could be kind of cool for that person. Okay, and then we have here a silver tone bangle. Doesn't look that great. This one is pretty. It has some engraving on it. And this one's marked 925 right there. Hmm. Let's see. These are not magnetic. This one is also marked to 925. But, you know, Thread Up has been known to give us some fakers in these boxes, so it's always good to check. This one is Silver Tone, and this one has a mark too, and this is indistinguishable. Can't really tell what that stamping says. It might say Sterling. I don't really know but it's pretty silver bangle. And we have another one of these bangles. So I'm really curious to see if these are sterling or not. Should we test? I guess we could. Okay guys, let's see. So we have here, ooh, that could be sterling. And we have this one right here. Okay, then we have these three here, which were all marked sterling. So let's see if these three are sterling silver or not. I'm using the 18K solution, and if the line, the silver line, turns bright blue, then we have sterling on our hands. And wow, for a change, I think these are all sterling, though these two are breaking up. I think they're all pretty, I think they're all sterling. They're not quite disappearing on me. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so we have these three sterling bangles. Really nice. Um, yeah, this one measures in at 8 inches. This one measures in at 7 and 3 quarters. And this one, the engraved one, measures in at 7 and 3 quarters as well. We have that beautiful set of sterling bracelets. Really cool. Okay, very nice. Okay, then we have these three bangles. 
Um, I'm not sure if they are sterling or not. They are not magnetic. They are not marked. But let's try and test them. Okay. So I'm going to do scratch there. No. I'll just scratch here with this one. And I'll just scratch with this one over here. Okay. Let's see if these are sterling or not. I don't think these are sterling because there are some blue flecks. Yeah, I don't think these are sterling, but I will retest these later, but I don't think they are. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, next we have this bangle and it's very pretty. And I don't know if this is I forgot what they call this. Very beautiful. And there is some fading of the color on the interior here. Let's take a measurement of this. This measures in around seven and a half inches. Very pretty. So we have that. And then we have this necklace. It is a seed bead necklace, and then we have these little pearls. These look like freshwater pearls. I think they're real. And it's a choker. Let's get a measurement on this. I don't think this is sterling. No, the chain is not sterling. Get a measurement of this. It's about 12 inches with a 3 inch extender. So that's pretty. We have that. Okay. Next we have this beautiful pearl necklace. And it's a really long one. And we have these beautiful bindings here with the rhinestones gold tone on this gold tone chain and has lifesaver claps. So this is a J Crew. And let's just see if all the rhinestones are there. Oopsies, I think we are missing a rhinestone right there. So that is unfortunate. That could be an easy fix, guys. And I may have a rhinestone for that. So, we have this really long J. Crew necklace. Very beautiful. But it's missing that one rhinestone, I believe. So, right there. So, if anybody wants to fix this, I will sell this. And there's some scratches on the pearls here. But it's still very beautiful. As is. Um, I will sell this one for six dollars if anybody wants it. Otherwise I will fix her up and sell her. Okay, we have one of these beautiful seed bead necklaces. Let's see her. Um, she has this beautiful clasp, a loop here. And it's all made of seed beads. And it's this beautiful bronze colored metallic seed bead and it's graduated and it becomes thicker down here. Very beautiful. I had a cream colored one like this. Very beautiful. I think the time that it took to make this guy is amazing. Very beautiful. So this is about like collar length for most. Let's take a measurement on this. This measures in at 18 inches around the neck. That's very beautiful. 
anybody wants her, she'll be $8. Okay, we have a gold tone necklace here. And this has a little tassel at the end with a little tag that says, with love. That's really cute. And it says, Lana and Lily. Never heard of that brand before. But this is a beautiful gold tone textured, sort of, I don't know if it's hammered. It looks more textured link necklace, gold tone. I think there is some gold plate wear on, on this link here. Maybe it just needs a wipe down or to be polished up, but it's not really noticeable. It's really beautiful, actually. Um, let's get a measurement on this. So this measures in at, let's see. This measures in at 16 inches with a two inch extender. Very pretty. We have her. Next we have this, wow, this is a really hefty chain. Very beautiful. Um, has this really strong magnetic clasp. Wow, really strong clasp, guys. That's awesome. And it's, I think this is copper. It's very beautiful and very heavy. So this is the top of it, the beautiful clasp there. There's a little bit of wear here to the copper. Where's that glue? I'm not sure if that is glue or some kind of a cement or the metals come off. But that's the clasp and this is the chain. It's a beautiful braided chain, very thick and heavy. That's a beautiful piece of work right there. Where this doubled up. Oh, I love this. It feels so substantial. That's beautiful. Um, let's get a measurement on this guy. This one measures in at 36 inches around the neck, 18 times 2. Is that right? But that's beautiful. I love that a lot. Okay. Next, we have another bangle here. And this one has a different kind of a texture pattern there. And this one is March 9252. So interesting. I wonder if this is sterling as well. Just test that really quickly. Let's see if it is. Yeah, it looks like sterling, guys. So that is nice. Another sterling bangle. Very happy about the real sterling. In this box so far. So, so far, so good. These are all sterling. Very cool. Okay, let's keep going. Next we have this necklace, which has all of these findings connected together. But I think it's missing a jump ring right there. It's a beautiful brushed gold. It's sort of like a metallic paint. Um, sort of a matte acrylic gray. Very interesting color combination. I love gray. I love gold. So it's kind of appealing to me. There is no tag on this, and this is the back of it. There is no mark, so that just needs a jump ring to be fixed. And I could fix that for you if you want. This, this measures in a, at 16 inches with a three inch extender. Um, if anybody wants this unfixed, it will be $4, but fixed, it will be $5. So let me know, guys. Okay, next we have this brooch gold tone. There is no mark on it, but it looks very similar to a 
Christian Dior brooch that I have. Very pretty. This measures in at three inches by one and a quarter. Very cool brooch. If anybody wants this, this will be five dollars. Okay, next we have well, this is this is a handsome piece, if I do say so myself. Uh, very beautiful. This looks like turquoise. It is cold to the touch, and it has this matrix here. Wow, that is really beautiful. It looks like a native piece, and it does say 925 right there in the back. So that's cool. And I think this is probably sterling, so we will take a scratch of this. And I think it is. Take the 18K solution again to test the silver line. And if the line turns bright blue, we have sterling on our hands. And yes, it does turn bright blue. So that is a lovely pendant. Really pleased with that. That's beautiful, guys. You can see that. Gorgeous turquoise pendant. Really pretty. And I'm not sure how to price this, um, but that is a lovely find. Really happy about that. Ooh, what's this? Okay, what are these? I think, um, Libby and Kylie a Freckle Heart actually told me that these beads are actually a Mazinite, I believe. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, don't blame Kylie and Libby, just blame me. But um, I'll link their channel down below too. They're really cool ladies, the mother and daughter team, who do a lot of thread up unboxings and Goodwill jewelry unboxings. But this is a really pretty necklace. We have this interesting clasp here. And then we have these metal, I think, stones, um, metal beads. I'm not sure exactly. And these for Mazinite, different colors. And they're knotted in between the metal beads. And then we have this unruly tassel. Very pretty. Let's get a measurement on this guy. This one measures, this one measures from the top of the clasp to the bottom of the necklace right here. It's about 17 inches, so that's 34 inches around the neck. Beautiful amazonite necklace. I like that a lot. So I'm going to cut it short, guys after this last grab because I have to get ready for work tomorrow. So we have this, oh this is a pretty, looks like abalone, but I think it's just faux. This is acrylic and this is a ribbon necklace and this is also by the brand Lana and Lily that. It's a little tassel at the end. Very cute. And that is choker. It's a choker. Choker length. And this measures in at 12 inches with a 3 inch extender. And on the interior of this ribbon there is a, a mark there. Otherwise in good condition. It's pretty. Like that. Okay. And let's see what we have here. We have a... Hmm. This is cute. Look at this, guy. It's a little teacup earring. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. I love that, guys. Really cute. And it feels like it's made out of porcelain. Very cute. So we hopefully we find the match to that. Okay. Let's see. This is a really 
big necklace. It's a statement necklace, but I think it's missing a bunch of things. It's missing some jump rings, and it's missing a cab here. Um, it's pretty black matte metal, and this chain is gorgeous, though. But that's unfortunate, so I think this will go into the craft lot. If anybody wants this, this will be a dollar. Okay, next we have tiny necklace and it has a tag and it says 925750 I can see that so that is 925750 and I believe 585 signifies that it is 14k but so I think this is a sterling vermeil chain and there is a tag on it right there you can see the mark so that's pretty interesting I'm not familiar with that mark but the chain itself I mean the little charm here definitely looks like it's gold plated but the chain itself does not look like it's gold plated, so I wonder if the gold plating has worn off. Quite possible. So I'm just going to test the clasp here. And then also a bit of the chain to see. To see if this it definitely looks like it's sterling. So I'm going to take the 18K solution, and this was the clasp, and see if that is sterling. If it is, it'll turn bright blue again, and it definitely does turn bright blue, so that is sterling. And I'm very curious if this is 10K gold vermeil, so I'm just going to, I don't know if it'll detect it or not, but I will take the 10K gold solution and see if that sticks. Hmm. It does stay. So I'm not sure. I don't know if this is a plated um, vermeil chain. Looks like it could be. Definitely looks promising. So that is very cool. I'll have to do some research on that chain right there. The problem with having all these lights here is that I can hardly see anything through my camera. So we have like a toe ring or a open ring here. It's gold tone, lightweight. This measures in at size Six and a quarter. If anybody wants this, this will be a dollar. Okay. Next we have here an earring. It's pretty, it's like mixed metals. You have like a bronzy colored piece here and then a textured Pebbled hammer hoop. Let's see if I match. There's a little verdigris on that one. And we have a BR necklace. So it's a Banana Republic. There's your tag. And there is some wear on the chain. Um, it could just use a good polishing, I think. But we have these really pretty chains. This is like a twisted chain here. And then we have this chain with these little gold balls and then we have some 
acrylic crystals and pearls. That's really pretty. Well, let's get a measurement on this one. It's really long. This measures in at 32 inches around the neck. If anybody wants this, it needs a good cleaning, like a wipe down. It's very pretty though. It will be six dollars. This looks familiar. This looks like a Ann Taylor necklace that I sold a while ago that I got from a Goodwill blue box, actually. One of my very first ones. I think this is an Ann Taylor. Oh, it looks just like it. Except it has a different tag. It has a more modern tag. I think the one that I had was the actual AT symbol. And this has a toggle clasp. There is some wear on this. use a very good cleaning, but we, it's a very, very heavy necklace. It has Chanel vibes. We have three different chains here. This rosary type chain with the pearls, and then this heavy curb chain. And I think these are both sort of curb chains. Very beautiful. Um, so this is the top of it with the toggle clasp. And then we go, 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 and that's the bottom of it. It's really pretty. And let's get a measurement on this. It definitely feels a little bit dirty, and I can see a little bit of the wear on the gold plating slightly. But I think it's in overall good condition. And this measures in at at the shortest chain here, 30 inches around the neck, wearable length. Very heavy, beautiful piece. We have that. Okay, then we have this bracelet that says, find the blessing in everything. These are beautiful beads. I don't know what these are. These are cold to the touch. Very pretty, marbleized sort of swirls in these beads. Gorgeous. If you know what these beads are, please let us know. Very pretty. And that's the back of it. It's sort of a rose gold copper color. And the chain, it says, Inspire Me Bracelets. Quite the contrast to the other bracelet we saw earlier. But I guess that bracelet was pretty inspiring too. Um, let's see. Okay, it's sort of a little bit awkward here. So I think it has a wire inside of the, the beads. Okay, so I'm going to take it from around here. That's at the smallest. That is about six inch wrist right there, but it could certainly accommodate up to a seven and a quarter inch. That's a beautiful bracelet, guys. I love that. That's pretty. That's really beautiful. And since I've reached 800 subscribers, I would like to give this away because I think it's appropriate. Um, oh, it says something here. It says Inspire Me Bracelets there too. Very beautiful. Hey guys, then we have here, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We have a hoop earring and these are acrylic coral tone beads. It's not marked. And it says, I'm not sure what it says. 
Hmm. I'm not sure what it says. Does it say yours? Y O U R S? I'm not sure. I think it says yours. What do you think, guys? I'm not sure. We have that. And it is 16 inches around the neck. If anybody wants this, this will be $4. Okay, we have another gold tone necklace. This also has some script text on the pendant. My nephew's going to be 17 years old, guys, this week. It's kind of crazy. So I'll be seeing him this weekend. And, yeah, I just can't believe that he's a junior in high school. And just sort of surreal for me that he used to be a little, a little nugget. And now he's so big. He's like a little man. Okay, so this does not have a mark on it. It's gold tone. But it has love. So this one I can read quite clearly. This says love. That's beautiful. I love that a lot. And this measures 18 inches around the neck. That's gorgeous. That's the back of it. If anybody wants this love necklace, this one will be seven dollars. Very beautiful. Next we have this bracelet. These feel cold to the touch. I think these are hmm. hmm. Don't know if that's sterling. It's not marked. Hmm. Could be sterling some of these beads here. I think it could be sterling. I'll take the 18k solution again. Let's see if and they are these beads and the finding here are sterling. Wow. Really impressed with this box. Uh, usually I encounter just fakers, but um Really happy to have some actual sterling in this box. And these beads are beautiful. I don't know if you could tell they're blue and somewhat translucent. And there you are. I'm not sure what they are. Let's see if we can bring the presidium in and test them. Okay ready, so let's see what these beads could be. Come on. Going to take... hmm. So I, th I guess they're just glass. They are pretty. They look a little bit like quartz, but yeah, they're going a little bit past glass, but I think it's just glass. Very beautiful bracelet. Very delicate and feminine. And this measures around six and six and about a seven inch, I guess. That's pretty. Very beautiful. If anybody wants this, this will be $14. That's pretty. Okay, then we have a lone earring. Very pretty. Love this 
very festive, bobbly herring. And there's a mix of brushed silver and shiny silver. Hopefully we kind of matched that. Oh, and then we have last but not least from this batch, this first part of the video, we have these tassels. And they're cute. I just need to tame them a little bit. But they're fun. If anybody wants these, these will be $2. Okay guys, so that was the first part of this video. So let me know what you thought of this box. I was very pleasantly surprised by these sterling bangles. So that was really fun. I liked this Anne Klein necklace, which I've seen before. This seed bead necklace is nice as well. Um, I like that. Mazanite. I think that's what it is. And then a chain too. This heavy chain was really pretty cool. And like these other bracelets here. I really liked this guy. So that was fun. Yeah guys, let me know what you thought of this box so far. Um, yeah, definitely interesting jewelry for sure. And I'm happy so far. So let's see what's in part two. Um, hopefully it's not all craft. Okay guys, thank you for joining me and watching. And thank you so much for helping me get to 800 subscribers. And I'm finally at 800 and I couldn't be more grateful to you guys for watching, commenting, um, sharing your knowledge. Um, appreciate each and every one of you very, very much. When I reach 1,000, I will definitely be doing a giveaway and I'm still deciding what to do. So definitely, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and join in on the fun. And if you like this kind of content, definitely come back for more and hit that bell notification to be notified of part two of this video. Okay, guys. And most of all, be well.